What's up everyone, Doyler here and it's time for some huge updates on my regular free to play account. Before we jump in, I did just want to mention the Sushi Says question of the day. The question is, free to play, E5 horse today, day 77. Worth it to buy Withered Armor for him? I don't have Fearless, he currently has COG. So stick around for the end of the video to give this user a shout out for their good question as well as the answer. With that out of the way, let's take a look at where the free to play account is at so far. So most of the heroes are the same, but there is that eight star ticks as well as still having the five baby tixes. I am going to try for a minimal Phoenix clear, but I did want to start building up the ticks that will eventually become the E5. Other than that, not a lot of progress has been made hero wise but the month is coming up on an end so i will likely start doing some more fusions and whatnot once this monthly resets tix will be the second e5 on the account i'm gonna have to wait to really finish him until i'm done with the shadow sea land that said should be plenty of food i can make in the meantime i am going to try and run sea land today see if we can't finally clear 18. gonna try and push for death one in aspen and i'm going to try for broken spaces all the way to seven 320 tickets and as you can see I've never cleared BS7 on this account yet. The Phoenix up to 167 and attack rune of 28 now. Guild tech wise sitting on 30 out of 30 anti priest and 20 out of 30 anti mage. So let's start with Aspen as I run a slightly different Horus. I swap out his purify for resilience but everything else is standard. 8 DPs and all but two of the crit potions. All right so the purchases are out of the way. This can actually be a harder wave especially at 420 so I'm actually going to pop a DP on hell 51 just to try and make sure we get through the petrify wave. Might not be needed, could have been a waste, but we've got eight. I don't want to risk anything. All right, just the sleepless, nice and easy. We might end up with energy as well, good. Previous record was hell 60, so definitely hoping to get further. That said, that was um, all the way from hell one. Shouldn't need any DPs against this. Our damage is gonna start ramping up. Should start getting some kills before round 15. And there's the Vesa, just us and Michelle, nice and easy. Double Siggy at 420. Let's see how we do with a full E. I'm not gonna use a DP. Could be risky, especially since we don't have Purify. Oh, I think I should have DP'd. I think our run's dead. There's Unbending. Yep. All right, so without Purify at 420, we need a DP against Double Siggy. That's all right. Still at health 50. Fearless ticks with full mage. Energy ticks with 2-2. Energy ticks with 2-2. And yeah, almost energy ticks with 1-3. And unleveled Rune's Power, which will keep him alive with a 2-2 split. So we've got all our actives off. Let's see how we do. All right, doing okay so far. We procked in round five, so about as expected. Hopefully the upgraded attack runes really help us out. Oh, come on, let's go. Just two priests left, but I don't know if we have the damage. Oh man. I don't think we're gonna be able to out damage them even with the wraiths helping. I think we need priest warrior or something or more kills. Ah, oh, man, that's rough, even with the block attack stone. All right, we did get to two priests, though. Let's give it another try. Nope, that was a bad run. <laughs> All right, we proc around five. That's right, we take out one priest so far. Phoenix takes out the other priest and the boss, so just two warriors left. Oh, wow, we got a... Yep, priest goes down. Other priest should go down in a second. We need to kill the, a warrior along with the priest, though. Nice! I was surprised by that! Awesome, so there is Seal Land 18 on the free-to-play account. Let's go for 19. Although all of the race are in the boss, so we need incredible RNG. All right, there's the round five proc. That's okay. Kill with this active? No, we do not. We still have a priest alive. Okay, a priest goes down. All right, we'll come back for these next five. So we've got 320 tickets. I'm thinking we've got a good shot at this. Um, so eight-star ticks instead of the second Amon Ra. Um, should be fairly beneficial. Decent attack steal and a ton of damage, I'm hoping. All right, so a nice and easy one ticket clear. Sort of expected. Let's take a look at the damage report. Okay, Flora, Siggy. Yeah, so the Tix is doing considerably less damage. I'm keeping the antlers on the Flora. Gonna run that Amon Ra. So, that was a one ticket broken spaces one and a two ticket broken spaces two. So not bad at all already. Let's watch three. And we have so many tickets saved up that I'm definitely going to push for broken spaces seven even if it takes all 300 tickets i actually should also put one of the working energy artifacts on the heart watcher and the amun ra i'll do that now so let's smash through 
So it's a 10 ticket broken spaces three. Not terrible so far, still plenty of wiggle room. It would be nice to have that glittery antlers if only I had 7,000 Orm Assessants. But as you see, I'm still leveling up energy artifacts, which I probably don't need that many of, but I had them. Probably should have been a little more efficient. As you saw, I have two that are not quite, not quite max level. All right, survivability is there. Let's skip to the end. 540 million, about what you can expect with a team like this against the Gruz. So 306 tickets, let's smash. 48 ticket broken spaces for. CC is going to be terrible on this wave for us. So our survivability is just fine against five, which is good to see. And back up to 573 million. 258, let's see what it takes. That is a 61 ticket broken spaces five. Oh man, can we do it? Come on, free to play account, I believe in you. How do we look against six? This is going to be a hard one. We may need to go double Amon. I don't think the eight star ticks is helping out a ton. All right, let's see what happened. 362 million. Now let's try double Amon. Two sixty two. It did not. Back to the ticks. So we started this at one ninety seven. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Come on, game. Help us out. Oh my goodness, we don't even clear six. So that was a huge waste of tickets. I thought we might be able to clear six. Let's see if we're able to upgrade anything. Let's try and just smash our way through 19 for now. And come back next time for another run at it. Yep, no luck. Alright, we'll do our smash. We'll grab our shards and our four colors. And that's going to wrap it up for the free-to-play update. Not doing terrible, but it's it's getting there. We should hopefully have Sealand 20, Hell 1, and Broken Spaces 7 soon. So with all of that out of the way, let's get back to this edition of Sushi Says. So again, shoutouts to Squad18 for this great question. Just to repeat it, free-to-play, E5 Horse today, Day 77. Just a quick note, that is awesome and really close to my Race to E5 record, so... Big shout out to Squad18. Worth it to buy Withered Armor for him. I don't have Fearless, he currently has Cog. Sushi says, no, because it is never worth spending 100 relics on a artifact. If you are spending relics, they should go to your 400 relic pay to win artifacts. Check out the link up at the top for my relic guide, but just wait till you get a copy of Fearless. Cog is fine for now for PVE. You may have some troubles for Sea Land or Death One, but you will get that Fearless as a free-to-play player. Do not spend those 100 relics on a Fearless armor, on a Withered armor that isn't really going to be a huge upgrade. So that's it for Sushi Says. Let's get back to the video. But be sure to click those links up at the top for some more videos in this series. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.